Good morning, peeps. Welcome to a weekend with me. I can't wait to take you guys along on this vlog. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more because it's a little bit easier for me to do more unedited vlogs where you just kind of bop around with me than for me to do the vlogs that get more views, but I have to take a year and a half to edit them. So today is going to be the start of a weekend and it's technically Thursday, but if I look at the weekend as a Thursday, then it's not that bad because I don't drive to work. So I actually have a lot of fun stuff coming up in the next few days. We have a concert, we have shopping, we have the opera. We also have a Abercrombie and Fitch Hall and I haven't shopped there since 2012. So 10 years ago, I'm about to go and grab the package downstairs, but I am currently just working and doing my little work stuff over here in the corner and just having ourselves a day. It is a typical Thursday, so I'm about to leave everything in a good little spot right now. If you can hear the slack and get triggered, I know the feeling. But I'm about to just wrap some stuff before I go on like a 30 minute walk and unveil my package, which I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you're new here, hello, my name is Veronica Burton. I am a 24 year old living in the Atlanta area and I do a lot of lifestyle content, a lot of work days with me, weekends with me. I also like to do morning routines and sometimes evening routines. I am in the middle of planning a fitness routine one and that's gonna be combined with some healthy habits that I've instilled as of the last few months that have really kind of changed my life. So I'm really excited for that one, but if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love all my subscribers, you guys rock my socks off. So let's go ahead and wrap this baby up because I am kind of over the current state of what my stuff is. All right, so my walk might be cut a little bit short, but I have a few things to do at work before my meeting at 2 p.m. and it's currently 1.15 and I'm also starving because I have not eaten lunch. I'm currently cooking some sweet potatoes in the oven and I'm gonna chop up a little bit of this melon to nibble on until after my meeting and I can eat lunch and then go and run some errands. So we're gonna be going to Pike's Nursery. I have a big Montessera plant. I don't know if you can see him over there. Monty and he's still in his plastic shell that he came in. So I definitely want to get some more legit housing for him just because I feel, I feel like he deserves it. So without further ado, I personally love a good melon. Some people don't and that's okay because that means more for me, but I've been very into the fruit game lately. I've been reading that fruit is really good for you in the mornings and you know what? Anything that helps my mornings be awesome, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. So melon is really easy to cut up into chunks and eat in the mornings and just great. So I heard like fibrous fruits um, they're really good for you. Like the sugar doesn't shock your system because it's not like just straight sugar, like eating candy where there's no fiber for your body to break it down um, at the same time. Wow. This is a really good piece of melon. I'm excited for it. It's on the verge of going bad. So I'm really glad that I cut that up but I'm gonna just chop this up and get along with my day. All right, so now we have a cut up bowl of melon and it was so easy to just clean up and cut up. That probably took me five minutes. And 
I just love it cut up the way I like it versus buying it store bought because sometimes in the store they leave too much of the rind on it and I get upset. So this is our current fridge. You want to take a look at it. Um, I have I have some of our water in here just because I have a Berkey. It's over here if you want to look at it. We have a Berkey over here and I like my water cold so I'll fill this up and keep it in the fridge. Got some Ithaca hummus, my favorite. I love the lemon garlic or the lemon dill. Um, hard boiled eggs, a must. Some of my coconut milk yogurt, Luke's, just regular yogurt. Berries, we go through this probably one a day, so we went through already three. Um, got some fresh veggies that we're gonna cook tonight. Can't wait for that. And then we have some chicken. I already made some of these earlier this week. I'm gonna make some in the oven later today. Lunch meat that Luke hasn't touched. I knew he wasn't gonna touch it. I knew he wasn't gonna eat it. So I'm gonna tell him that he has to eat this before it goes bad. Um, and then some salmon that we're gonna cook up tonight as well. Um, he has some cheese in the middle that he likes. I'm lactose intolerant. And then we, we have some mushrooms back here that we're also gonna cook up. Um, and then he has some Celsius. I do not drink Celsius unless it's an emergency. Um, then some nut pods, creamer, and our dressings. This is actually bad. I don't know why I still have this. I don't even like it. And yeah, some pasta sauce and stuff. Got a lot of good stuff. Oh, and here's a hot take. You don't see a lot of this in people's fridges. Sardines. I love sardines. I don't know why people shat on it so bad, but I think it's great. I just eat them with some crackers and I'm like hunky dory having a great day. But yes, I hear my slack popping off right now. So I'm gonna do some of that and then go on a 10 minute walk. Wheat potatoes are all done and now I'm running to find some socks somewhere so we can go on a little walkie walk. Maybe I should just wear my sandals. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that. So just got back from our walk. Abercrombie's here. I'm going to really quickly go to the bathroom and take this meeting. And then we are going to head out after I clean up work and make sure it's in a good spot to go run our errands. I'm really excited. Can't wait. y'all the items are here and they're in and they are cute so i'm gonna go ahead and just show you a little try on i got this workout top and this bottoms and these bottoms i really like how flattering they are but i will say um they are not very camel toe resistant I'm just gonna be honest about it. Um, so, hoping that I just will probably just wear these at home in the home gym because where else am I going? I'd probably take four workout classes a month, so why not? I really like them. They're super comfortable. I like how they hit right above my belly button and they don't have a weird gap here. They're very form fitting and they fit my legs great and they hit right above the ankle. So, great find. The top could not have made it any better. It's so comfortable and it doesn't like do this weird thing where I'm like my little flap is here. Um, it covers completely and it's so comfortable. Um, after that, I just got these Abercrombie dad pants because I wanted some cute cloth pants to be wearing to work. So excited to try those on. I got a medium. I got this top, but in the colors of the pants, you can see, and it comes with a scrunchie too. I had no idea. And then an oversized linen white shirt, just so I can toss this on top of tops like this and still kind of dress it up and be appropriate if I'm going into stores and stuff. And then I also got 
I've tried it on, it was so cute. This cropped shirt, it's like a cropped satiny shirt, as you can see. So, looks super cute on, and it's actually a perfect length so I can wear it to work, probably with the white pants. And then I got another cropped flannel. So my camera totally just died in the middle of that. So um, what I wanted to say is that they actually accidentally sent me bikini bottoms instead of my box crop plaid top, which I was a little upset about. And then I tried the bottoms on and they were really cute. So I reached out and they actually let me keep them, but they're sending me the other top. So what a win-win. I asked if I could do that. <laughs> no shame. They sent me the wrong thing. So they said, yeah. But anyway, I am wearing the top and the bottoms right now that I showed you and superb. They won me over. They won my love. But right now we are at Pike Nursery. As you can see, we have made it to the motherland and I'm about to swing in there. I need to grab a pot, some flowers. Hopefully they have some and also some Oh gosh, I don't remember, like some sill pots as well and some potting soil. So we're gonna go ahead and head on in there. Alrighty guys, so I just repotted my plants and it is a mess out here. So Monty got repotted. I got this new plant called Peppa. It's a Pepperachina, I don't remember what it's called. It's a Pepperomia abustifolia. I don't know, but it's really pretty. So here are a few of the plants. I have some more inside, but Monty's our biggest. And then Peppa. And then that one is unnamed. It's a little naughty sometimes, but it's growing like a mofo. So, yeah, we potted all of them. Now I'm gonna just clean up this area and then take them inside. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is now Friday morning. So happy it's Friday. Drinking my little match. Um, I love matcha green tea for energy in the morning. I've been switching off of coffee, so sometimes I'll have one coffee day a week, so I just like using my machine. And I'll, oh, y'all bear with me. My allergies are so bad. I woke up with my eyes puffy. They were so red, and I just took a Claritin a few minutes ago, so hopefully it clicks soon because I'm suffering a bit. But matcha green tea, we have the nice one, and it's this little can that we got on Amazon. Um, I can't even pronounce that. Ipoto tea. And I personally like the cheap one better. I like the Ido N matcha green tea. It's amazing. I got the little bowl and whisk as you guys just saw off Amazon and it even came with this little ducky, which is so cute. But I'm drinking some match. I'm getting my materials together for the DMV. I am officially changing my name over this morning. So that means my passport and my license will finally match. Um, but I have to skedaddle soon. So 
I am just taking you guys along on my recovery walk for all my items. And I have to get all these documents to go to the DMV, as you guys know, my passport, all the documents proving that I live now here with Luke. Oh, is this my credit card? Sorry, y'all. I'm like trying to figure out what is mine and what's not. Okay, so passport found. Now I just need to get the documents that I printed last night. And then we will be on our way. I have to work today a little bit. I'm gonna take my computer with me to the DMV just because sometimes it takes a little bit long. Anyway, today we have a fun day ahead of us. We are going to, oh, it's so good. Head into work and then after that we have, we will come back early. Oh my word, a lot of papers in here. I have a little printer in this corner and I'm not gonna lie, Having a printer has been one of my favorite things. Oh no. My Dyson. Anywho, having a printer in the house has honestly been kind of a game changer. And I absolutely love it because I can just print my documents whenever I need to. I am that kind of gal. Um, but, Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get it together and then head out with all my work stuff to the DMV. That way we can just go straight to work for a few hours after that. I'm gonna go be driving down because Amber, my coworker, is bringing her puppy and I'm just so obsessed with him. His name is Harvey. He's a golden retriever puppy. I can't wait to meet him. But we're gonna go spend time there, knock some stuff out. I need to be home around 3.30. So leaving a little bit early, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done on my way back. And that way we can get ready for the opera tonight. I'm so excited. And we're also going to my favorite restaurant called CNS Seafood. If you're in the Atlanta area, it's in Vinings and it is absolutely amazing. Like I just love it so much. So. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. And I can't breathe. I'm gonna have to bring all my tissues. Also, here's a weird thing I do that some people are gonna think is gross. I sometimes, when I'm in a rush, just grab a hard boiled egg and throw salt on it and literally just eat it over the sink. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are now at work. I cannot believe how fast the DMV was. I don't, I have never experienced a DMV like that. I was in and out in 20 minutes, if that. I think maybe even 15. So I got my name changed and my address changed. So relieved and excited about that because it's been in the works for quite some time. So now my passport and my driver's license have my name change, and now I just have to change my social security, which involves mailing in my passport or my driver's license. And I wanted one of them to have my name, and I wanted my driver's license to have my new name because I wanna keep that one for travel and to drive and do all that good stuff. So, Oh, my allergies are still kind of bad, but they're a little bit better. We just pulled into work. I'm going to be as productive as I can possibly be for the next four to five hours, and then I'm gonna head home and wrap up emails and such, and then get ready for tonight. I'm so excited for this weekend. We have so many fun things to do, guys, and I just really cherish at-home weekends because Luke and I travel a lot. Towards the end of the year, it is going to be toning down a bit, but I just, I just love it. So without further ado, let's go to work. all my 
worries, I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long, an unresolved questions hold you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on So something I love snacking on throughout the workday are dates. They're so good and sugary, but not as bad for you as eating a straight Kit Kat, I don't think. Not sure, I'm not a doctor, but I do love them and they taste so good. So they're very calorie dense though. So don't be popping like seven or eight and think, oh my gosh, great replacement because that's like I think that would be around like 500 calories, <laughs> which is crazy. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday morning and yesterday was so much fun. Went to the opera, went to dinner, went to dinner, went to the opera, and now, alas, it is about 9.50 and I have about 45 minutes to knock out a workout and then go get my eyebrows done before I come home and get ready for a bridal shower for my sister-in-law. So, I'm gonna do a quick little workout. I think we're gonna do some squats, um, sled pulls, and rowing. And I need to add in like another couple legs. So we'll do lunges and then I'm gonna do some reverse thrusters on the cable machine. So I'm gonna put you guys down as I set up because I do not have a lot of time. My eyebrows are straight up out of control i mean it's been a while since i've done them and they need to get done before the shower because i cannot be looking like hagrid so here we go workout it was 35 minutes at 156 beats per minute so burnt quite a couple of calories but 
I have a feeling it's because I drank a little bit last night and my heart rate's just higher because I'm a little bit dehydrated. But did some sled as you saw and some um, weight training for legs and I'm feeling pretty good. I am hoping to get a walk in later. I don't think that's gonna happen, so it's okay. But tomorrow morning, I love, love, love on the weekends to go for a long walk, like four to five miles, just listen to a podcast, call a friend, and just take some time just walking and thinking or talking. One thing that has changed my life, basically, in the last three weeks that I've been experimenting with it has been going on long walks or hitting at least 11,000 steps a day. So I know like the steps craze is honestly a little bit of overkill but i have experimented with you know tracking my cardio and then also just how i sleep at night and how deeply i sleep and how quickly i fall asleep and also just my digestion and how i'm feeling so i've just been paying a lot of attention to my body the past few weeks and i really think that walking has a big there's construction in the background, sorry. I really think that walking has a really big um, reason to do with why I'm feeling better overall with my health. So if you want to get walking, I recommend, you know, usually I'll go during work after my meetings, I'll go outside for a 10 minute walk. And then I will go just sporadically throughout the day. Like after lunch, I'll go for another five to 10 minutes. And then I'll go after work for about 30 minutes. And then, you know, I just add it up throughout the day. I don't go always for one huge walk. Like I don't have the time for that, but I do have the time to do five, 10, 15 minute walks throughout my day. So that has been key. I'm gonna go ahead and get a protein shake in me and get ready because I'm not gonna have time to get my eyebrows done. Kind of disappointing, but what are you gonna do? You want to say hi to the vlog? Morning routine. I just got my eyebrows done at my favorite place. I don't know if you can see it. Brow Beauty. And I died. That hurt so bad. I haven't done my eyebrows in quite some time. And she looked at my eyebrows and she was like, this might hurt. And I said, well, no kidding. It hurt so bad, y'all. Like, I can't even describe. It felt like little razors going to my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, and then I got my upper lip wax too. Um, gotta try not to stick my tongue out. That's what I do when I concentrate, I go. Um, but I am on my way to the dollar store that's right here to grab some wrapping paper for Luke's mom's um, Mother's Day gift. I just sent my mom a really beautiful bouquet that's going to be delivered tomorrow. So I'm excited for her to get that. I'm gonna be publishing this video after the fact. So if you see this mom, I hope that you love your flowers and that you got them. I always have some trust issues when, you know, I'm expecting something to be delivered on a certain day. Um, but they know this is the real deal and it's mom's day. So they better not act up. Hello everyone, it is Sunday morning and it is the end of our weekend. So today is Mother's Day and we are going over to see Mary, um, Luke's mom, and I sent my mom flowers because I'm unable to go down to Sarasota today to see her. 
but we are planning a trip for September and it's gonna be really really fun we're going to Bryson City North Carolina I think um, so I'm gonna be helping her plan that a little bit later today but anyway we have some fun things to do we're gonna go um, eat like a brunch breakfast with the fam and then go play some pickleball and then we're gonna have ourselves a relaxing rest of our days doing chores just trying to get into the vehicle. Hello. Okay. All right. I will catch up with you guys when we're at lunch. Oh. Hello, everyone. We are now back from pickleball, and we went grocery shopping and got a bunch of good stuff. Luke and I are cooking dinner right now, um, and I'm also meal prepping for the week, so. I'm doing what I did last week, honestly. I am that lame meal repeater, don't care. Making a bunch of chicken that is seasoned in a Mediterranean seasoning. Um, and that uses a bunch of red wine vinegar, lemon, um, oregano, salt, pepper, garlic, all that stuff. Um, and with that, I'm making some couscous. I love couscous, so this is what I got at the store, um, and I'm going through it at a fairly good rate, um, but aside from that, I'm going to just be adding like avocado and some spring mix to my lunches, so just chicken, couscous, spring mix, and like another veggie of sort of a side, um, but we stocked up on our usuals and right now we're making some burgers um, and then veggies on the side. So I think Luke actually just finished up our food. It looks so good. So his has a cheese on it, obviously, but um, we did bison and just beef burgers, put some seasoning in them, garlic, and now we're going to eat. I have a really cool thing that I just got in the mail. Um, are we ready to eat, Beeb? Okay. Where are the veggies? Stick them in that big bowl. That's out already. So, I got this box from Bayes. I don't know how to pronounce it, but right now for work, what I use when I go into the office, when I go into the office and stuff, is my backpack. And it's not very professional. I want to look a little bit more like a boss babe. And. I already do with my backpack, but I just, I wanted something a little bit more worky and I'll use the backpack when I go to coffee shops and stuff. Oh, look at Luke just growing. I got the mini work tote from Bayes. It's, um, I honestly forgot her name. She's in Pretty Little Liars, um, but she, Shay, I believe is her name, Mitchell. She has this brand and I've been getting so many ads for them. But after some research, I really wanted to see if I would like this. It's the mini work tote. Yeah? Oh no. Wow, what a spread. Thank you for cooking. So, we just ate, but I'm back now. It's too small. Mm. It's so cute, but it's too small. They have a larger work coat, and the price difference is very minimal. And it has more compartments. So right now, as you can see, there's like a compartment. So right now, there's the compartment for the laptop here, but then everything else would be pretty squished inside. Um, and the compartment for the actual laptop and the larger version um, just has more space in it. And if I, this was like a regular handbag, this is like the perfect size for me. Unfortunately, as this is going to be very work-based and like, as you can see here, you can slip this um, into your suitcase and I would use it when traveling with my work stuff if I'm working from home or something. Um, I'm gonna need it to be a little bit bigger. 
so I think I'm just gonna exchange it. Mm, what a bummer, but I'm not in a rush, so not a big deal. It is the end of the day, basically. It's about 7.25, and I don't know what's going on here. Um, anyway, people don't like to show their dirty laundry on YouTube, and you know, I don't either, but take a look at our clean laundry. I have a California King, by the way, so, this laundry is absolutely out of control. I'm about to sit down and do the rest of this, hopefully get through all of it. Um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I do that. And I have a new YouTuber that I've been watching and I actually really, really like her. She, like me, also has a full-time job, which makes her a little bit more relatable to me. Her name is Abby Asselin. I don't know, I might be pronouncing her name wrong but she seems really awesome and she works really hard. I really enjoy watching her channel and just seeing her also make the most out of the most mundane moments. Um, and I just love and appreciate that when I see it in a YouTuber. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get through this mammoth mound of laundry. So hopefully it does not swallow me whole because it's short as feel like that right now. I'll check in with you guys right before bed. All right, everyone, it is about 9 p.m. at night and you'll probably hear Luke talking in the background to his grandmas. We're catching up with all the women in our lives that are amazing mothers and just thanking them for being amazing. I could not get a hold of my grandma that lives in Peru though. I'm guessing it's because she's probably playing cards with her friends, as she does which is totally a great celebration for Mother's Day. But um, we are finishing up laundry. It's taken me about two and a half hours, awful. And stuff like this just puts me in the worst mood because it's two and a half hours of one of my only free days of the week. Um, and I haven't had a day to myself. I mean, like truly to myself of you know, I wake up, I have no obligations, and I can just do as I please. And I, I literally can't tell you the last day that I remember. So when I don't have time to read or relax, I get very anxious and the anxiety kind of just takes over and I am not the best person to be around. So I'm vlogging. Oh, I'm trying to get in the phone. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop. Don't you dare. I'm going to put in the video if you do it. Oh my god. <laughs> my husband is out of control. I get in the guest bathroom to hide from him and he comes and he finds me and he farts in my vlog. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm just not the nicest person to be around when I get into those modes. Um, and that's something that I'm actually going back to therapy. I don't know if I told you guys about that, but it's something I'm trying to work on there is my reactions to when I feel that feeling of, oh my gosh, I am feeling very imposed upon. I have too much on my plate. I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to, you know, react to this. Um, so we are going to be working through that and we are going to be starting that, I believe, this upcoming week. And it's going to be a 12 month stint about two times a month. So I'm excited to just kind of learn more about myself, how I react, how I can better react to others and my situations that I'm in. Um, and I'm gonna be pretty transparent. I'm obviously not gonna share everything with y'all because there is some privacy that needs to be kept, but I'll just be honest about where I'm at. And this is the end of the vlog. I am pretty tired and we went through all the laundry pretty much, so that's a miracle in itself. It's been piling up for a few weeks now. And I'm gonna show you what the bed looks like now. So you can see the bed, which is a miracle. But we're gonna go ahead and close it down for the night and just wake up tomorrow morning on Monday and start it all over again. I'll catch you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye friends.